Uh, what up, Blake Wilkie here. We're gonna wrap these headers. My boy, Michael. Um, this stuff is epic. It reduces your, your exhaust temps up to 50%. Uh, my motor here is usually in a confined space, so te temperatures get pretty hot back there. This will help push the heat out of the exhaust instead of radiating it um, off of the exhaust, which is ideally what most people are looking for. If it's under the hood or mm -hmm. even by vital components, um, this stuff is uh, rated for 1200 degrees continuous. Um, heat exertion and 2,000 degrees intermittent. So uh, it's top notch, state of the art stuff. Uh, watch this process go down. We'll talk about some tools that we're gonna need and also uh, the best way to do this. Uh, get it wet, you need some snips, tie wire pliers, and uh, scissors to cut it, uh, some vice grips to pull the clamps, and a nice, uh, Nice flat head to push while you're pulling. We'll show you all that, all those tips and techniques when we do this header right now. Um, with these wraps, you want to come over itself and overlap it with uh, about 50% is what I like to do. Um, you can do it a little less than that. However, I like to give it about 50% of an overlay when we're wrapping it. Um, we're gonna dip this in the bucket, get it wet. It makes it a little bit easier to work with and you could stretch it tighter. Um, again, you don't have to, but that's the way uh, we recommend you do it. Um, along with that, uh, they recommend they'll have a chart in each booklet that'll tell you how much per foot for when you're measuring your length of tubes, um, approximately how much wrap you're gonna actually use. So we're gonna get started on this header and uh, have some fun with it. We're gonna speed this clip up, show you our handwork, and show you a finished product soon. So as you can see, we use two people. It makes it a lot easier to feed, hold it tight, keep wrapping. Um, one of the biggest parts uh, of this header that makes it extremely difficult is there's a lot of tubes that are touching and or really close. So you might have seen where we were using the, using the wrap after we wrapped it around to kind of drag it back through, um, using that friction to pull it through the tight areas. Um, that helps it a lot with, uh, with that. Um, also where it wasn't touching and there's gaps, we came through and around it uh, multiple times in multiple tubes and we left enough slack to put a tensioner in the middle of all that. So that's definitely something that can help. Um, these, uh, the ends, after you cut the ends of the bands, um, we like to use uh, a little pick. After we put it under there, put it under there, lift it up a little, bend it down to keep those little, little tangs mm -hmm. down uh, so you don't slice your fingers because uh, those little They're stainless sharp. steel things <laughs> are sharp and they'll get you. But uh, I think we knocked this one out of the park. Uh, this is our first time ever wrapping headers um, with, uh, with something of this difficulty. I mean, uh, motorcycle stuff, stuff also works awesome, but uh, something like this isn't super challenging if you take your time, don't get frustrated with it, and uh, just believe in yourself and you guys can handle it. Have patience. Yeah, patience. Killed it. Yep. You. So here you can see the header installed. Um, there's a panel that goes over this, so the reason why we uh, tend to use these products in sand, off-road, um, desert, uh, drifting, even normal day-to-day -day cars is to get the heat out of the exhaust instead of radiating uh, elsewhere in tight spaces. Um, I had an issue with some plug wires melting when the car would get up to uh, extreme temperatures in the middle of summer, so um, this is going to solve that issue. We're confident with that. Not only that, we ran some heat shield product on some sending unit wires um, and some sensor wires, as well as uh, power steering lines that were in some, some really tucked up tight places. Um, not only does it look beautiful, but it performs uh, even better. So with that being said, they also have a, a delicious hot sauce that I vouch for. Uh, can't wait to uh, put this on everything and anything. Shoo! Oh, oh. <laughs> Спасибо.